This tutorial will cover the terminal actor classes included in the widget interaction system asset pack. To use the computer terminal blueprint, simply drag and drop bp underscore computer terminal into your level. With the actor selected, search for the settings section you find in the details panel. Here you can set the default widget interaction related parameters as well as the actual data table row used to populate the computer terminal with data. You might wonder why we're using a data table entry instead of filling in the data directly on an actor's instance. Using a data table has the advantage of securing all related data should you accidentally delete the actor instance in the game level or in any other case of data loss. This workflow also allows a cleaner preparation and allocation of data. If you want to learn more about data tables in Unreal Engine, please follow the link in the video description. To prepare your computer terminal, either add a new row to dt underscore terminal data or create a new data table using the bp underscore computer terminal data structure. In the row you created, you can now enter all information such as the username, mail data and connected systems. The connection to actors of a specified system is automatically established at runtime. For this to work, the system ID parameter must be exactly the same as the ID on the system's component. Now select your terminal actor instance in the level and set the data table row you just created inside the details panel. Your terminal will now always have the latest changes from the data table. To use a keypad terminal, drag and drop bp underscore keypad terminal to your level and place it on a wall or any other vertical object. With the instance selected, search for the keypad settings section inside the details panel. Here you add the IDs of the systems you want to link this keypad to. By default, the connected systems are activated once the correct code was entered. If you want to deactivate systems by entering a code instead, set should activate to false. In the settings, you can specify a code or let the blueprint generate a code for you randomly. The asset pack also contains a simple switch blueprint, which can be used universally to toggle systems on and off. To use it, drag the blueprint into the level, place it on a wall and fill in the connected system information inside the details panel. Within the details panel, you also find text fields for information shown on the widget. With the actor component for connected systems, any actor can be used in combination with the integrated terminal actor classes. To explain how this component can be used, let's create a simple actor which shows a debug message when its state is changed using a button switch terminal. First we create a new blueprint class. The parent can be any class, for this example we simply use actor. Next we add the WIS system component which is responsible for communicating with our terminals. With the component selected we can change the parameters and add the required functions. As system ID, we type in tutorial system and keep the default initial state, which means the system starts inactive. Next, we add our logic by adding both the system activated and system deactivated events to our blueprint. These events will automatically trigger when the state of the system with the set ID is changed. For this example, we add two print string functions, one for each event.
When we now place our blueprint in the level and hit play, we can see our debug message appear right away. This is required to initialize a system state, for example after loading a save game. When we now paste the system ID we set on our component in the details of a button terminal, we can use the button terminal to switch our actor state. If you want to change a system ID and initial state on an actor's instance, you can as well add this little logic to your actor's construction script.